Hello, everybody. Um, today we have Natalie here. Natalie, would you mind uh, just saying a few words about uh, who you are and what your role within Coronet is? Um, of course, Christina. Um, I'm Natalie Duncan Sletton. I'm a director at CBRE as my day job. I have also been um, the 2021 Young Leader President for the UK chapter of Cornet. Excellent, thank you. And can you tell us a little bit for the people who don't know what the Young Leader is, what is the, the purpose of the Young Leader Committee? So the, the Young Leader Committee is for anyone in corporate real estate who is under the age of, of 35. And really the purpose of the community is to make um, Cornet benefits much more accessible um, to a younger co cohort. So in fact, they'll pay a, a fraction of the price to, to, normal, to normal membership. Also, it's really to um, make an impact where at the beginning stages of people's careers, where they really do need a lot of support, mentoring and growth um, for, from more senior leaders as well as well as obviously their peers too so it's really just um, um, a, a, a way to give um, young leaders in corporate real estate a jump start and accelerate their career progression i love that thank you so much and what proportion do you think of the coronet members actually fall within that category so I think about 30% of our members are actually young leaders and the majority of young leaders then remain obviously to Cornet members when they progress to the, um, to, to the normal stage as well. Excellent. And uh, last question, Natalie, um, you've obviously been the president for the last year. You're about to hand over uh, uh, the, uh, the helm to Holly Pauline of PwC. Can you just give us a few highlights of your tenure as president of the Young Leader community for the last 12 months? Of course, so um, it's obviously been a very challenging year coming out of, of COVID and sort of transitioning between um, the, the sort of the virtual world to more of the in real life world. So I think the highlights definitely for me so far have been, well, we held a brilliant um, virtual session, virtual panel um, about, you know, what the return to the workplace looked like from a young leader's point of view. And we had fantastic engagement, got some fantastic point of views in a way that we probably wouldn't have been able to do in a room full of people because we had such great audience engagement and input. Um, and then I think the other highlight is really we tried to make the best of operating in a virtual environment. So we launched our Instagram page, which you know has been growing exponentially and has been a really great tool in um, sort of featuring some of our young leaders, some great advice from industry leaders, etc. So I think that's really been a great addition and another sort of tool in our in our arsenal. And I think towards the end of the year, we will also host some in-person events in, um, in the next coming weeks. So I'm sure that will be the, the future, the future highlight when everybody actually manages to get back together in a room networking. Brilliant. I can't wait to attend some of those. And last thing, Natalie, you're obviously handing over a little bit sooner uh, than you had envisaged. Uh, so do you want to share the good news with everybody? Absolutely. So I will be um, delivering my first baby in um, pretty much two weeks, two weeks from now. So this is my la last week working. Um, so I'm handing over the, the, the helm a little bit earlier to, um, to, to, to Holly and Harriet, but I'm really excited and confident that I'm leaving the, the committee in the fantastic and capable hands of, of two fantastic leaders. And I'm really excited to see what they achieve next year. Brilliant. Thank you so much for your help and dedication in uh, managing the, the super successful Young Leader community and best of luck from all of us. Thank you, Natalie. Thank you very much. Thank you. Holly, lovely to see you. How are you doing? Very well. How are you? Good. Very well as well. Um, Holly, for the people uh, that are listening to this, could you tell us a little bit about yourself, your day job and your role within the Young Leaders? Yeah, absolutely. So my name is Holly Pauline. I'm a UK real estate manager at PwC and I'm part of the team that is responsible for all of the transactions. I'm this year's Young Leader Vice President and will be President for 2022. Excellent. Congratulations. And actually, you're taking over the helm a little bit earlier. Uh, we heard from Natalie earlier because she's obviously going to uh, leave on maternity leave. So you're instead of having one year, you've probably got a year and two months, which is your tenure. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Um, can you tell us a little bit about how you got involved in the committee? Yeah, quite. So I got involved 
I was in the committee about four and a half years ago. So when I joined PwC um, as an end user, I was keen to kind of grow my network, but the team was relatively small. So at the time, my boss, James Ainsworth, got me involved in the Young Leader Committee. And it was a great opportunity to meet new people. And I've kind of been on the committee um, ever since. And um, the other thing is how other events, other young leader specific events, and how do they differ from the other events that Coronet uh, organizes? Yeah, absolutely. So we have young leader events. Each year we have a social event, which is generally kind of in February, which is a good opportunity for all kind of new members um, to come along and to meet the young leader community. Um, we tend to then later on in the year have a charity event, which is joint with the BCO, which again is an opportunity um, to get people together and to raise the money for charity. In the coming year, we'll focus a little bit more in terms of learning and mentoring. So there will be some more events which are focused on that too. Brilliant. And um, what do you think are the highlights of being a, a, a member of the Young Leaders? To be honest, I think again, it's just meeting the people. And I think my advice to anyone who is keen to join the Young Leaders is just to get stuck in. I think you get out what you put in. And the more you attend events, the more engaged you are with our social media, the more you meet people, your network will grow. And I think the highlight for me is just how many people I've met over the past kind of four and a half years and from the different organizations. And it's just a really nice community. Mm. I agree wholeheartedly. So Holly, thank you so much for your time. Very grateful and see you in person soon. Pleasure. Uh, Harriet, uh, lovely to have you. Thank you so much for joining. Um, would you like to give a short introduction of uh, yourself, what you do as a day job as well? Yeah, of course. Um, so my name is Harriet Wiseman. I am the um, Cornet Young Leader Vice President for 2022. Um, and in my day job, I work for Colliers UK um, within the project and building consultancy side of things. So busy life, I expect. <laughs> yes. Harriet, will you tell us a little bit how you became involved uh, with the Young Leader community? Yeah, of course. So um, I joined Cornet in, oh, I think it was about 2016. Um, so I've been a member for, for a long time now. Um, and um, I started going to the Young Leader events and things like that, and um, they were brilliant. So um, I really wanted to get involved in the committee and kind of help to shape um, what we're offering members going forward um, and they wanted to always make sure that the committee itself was a very diverse group of people um, and that's something that we've kind of kept going forward so they wanted to make sure at that time I was working for an architecture firm so they wanted to make sure they had people from the architecture side of things people from project management people from client side um, yeah and that's that's something we we still are very much passionate about today that's great and do you think over the course of the year, so from 2016 till now, it's evolved and changed and grown? Could you give us some highlights of that? Yes, definitely, definitely. So um, it's definitely grown, which is brilliant. Um, and it's definitely evolved in terms of um, the pandemic made us really refocus a little bit about how um, we were delivering that added value to our members. Um, because previously it was very much based around in-person events and during the last 18 months we weren't able to do that so um, what we have done instead is created um, an Instagram platform to really connect um, with our members and provide them with um, kind of profile raising opportunities and connection to learning events and things like that and um, we are doing lots of kind of online networking too so we're hosting kind of breakout rooms and things like that every few months um, for our members just to get together and chat really. Yeah brilliant thank you and last question if other people if other young leaders would like to get involved how do they do that? Um, we would love them to get involved. So um, they just need to make sure that they've been a member of Cornet for a year previously. And then as soon as they've ticked that box, um, then if they either send us a DM to our Instagram account, which is at CornetYLUK, um, or if they want to drop us an email um, to our president's email address, which is ukylpresident at cornetglobal.org.uk, then um, we'll arrange a coffee and, and come and meet them. Perfect. Harriet, best of luck as you embark in your tenure as vice president, uh, supporting Holly Pulley. 
And thank you for joining us and look forward to seeing more of you. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs>